Hey guys, so today I am going to be taking a look at my Wii U screen. <clears throat> so this is my Wii U. Recently it has stopped working, the touch screen. Now the console's just fine, it's just the touch screen and these buttons. So over the past few days what I've been doing is testing it. Now I'm able to play games using my TV and of course my Wii you know, Wii U Pro Controller. Um, I just can't play like Mario Maker or things that need the gamepad like Netflix. So um, I took it apart, couldn't find anything wrong with it. I don't have any parts to replace. Um, so just gradually practicing and playing with it just to see what worked and didn't, I realized that all of these things work. And for some reason, it's stuck on something either one of these buttons are stuck the screen is stuck something stuck I was able to get actions from all three of these all four of these buttons these two buttons I have not gotten oh the home button is working so you see that where it shows that so that's the first time I ever got the home button to work this TV button has always worked the power button has always worked but these are currently stuck and so were these and touching the screen it's unresponsive so I'm gonna show you a trick and hopefully it will do the same thing that it did so what I did was I lifted up the screen at the bottom because at this time you have to do some investigating okay <laughs> um, so I realized it was the bottom of the screen um, that could been a possibly been stuck so I kind of took my fingernail and lifted up just a little bit and I noticed, you know, um, that helped. I don't know if it's gonna work this time, but the power button works. I'm able to go past that. Now before, I was stuck on this screen. I was completely stuck. I wish I had a video before to show you guys, but I was literally just stuck on this screen. So I'm able to use that and I'm able to press the screen, the Wii U menu, and go to the Wii U menu. <clears throat> it's booting up. And I'm gonna see if, there we go. I lifted it up just a tad bit more than what I used to. Um, than, than I did the first time. Now, I have to say this. Do not try this if you just bought your Wii U because you could possibly void the warranty or, you know, whatever Nintendo has. Please be careful because you could break that screen. So what I think was is that I might have gotten some um, debris, might have been stuck into it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a temporary temporary thing that it's is it going to continue to go out and eventually I do need to replace the LCD uh, the LED or the digitizer or just the screen itself like I'm not a hundred percent sure but this is proof that I got working and what I honestly think it is is that it was some debris that might have had been stuck um, but I could have a faulty LCD screen LED screen I apologize so I'm going to test it out and I'm going to calibrate my screen just to be on the safe side. And what I hate, what I just realized and what I hate with these Wii U's now, that since the gamepad was rendered useless to me for like five days, you cannot use the TV to access this. So I couldn't go and calibrate my screen, erase anything, because for a minute I thought it was a software issue. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to calibrate, is it here? No, it's TV. Okay, so we're going to calibrate the touch screen. So, all right, so we got the stylus, tap here, tap here, tap here, tap here. All right, and it says it's complete. Click OK and enable, enable. Everything else looks good. 
So like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be a temporary thing or I've just resolved it. But if your Wii U has been stuck on that quick start or the touch screen's unresponsive, the first thing I recommend is first cleaning the screen, making sure um, that it's visibly clean. And then what you can do is go around these little corners and see if you see any little types of debris and things like that. Or next work, you know, if that doesn't work and you cleaned it as much as you could, Nintendo recommends a dry toothbrush on the screen. There's many videos on YouTube explaining how to clean, uh, clean the screen with a toothbrush. But um, if all else fails, if you have fingernails or you can just probably use like a card or something, um, you just need to basically just lift this with the fingernail if, if, if that makes sense. Just a little bit, not so much. It's not going to let you go all the way back to break the screen, but just be very cautious when you're doing it. I don't recommend it <laughs> unless you're desperate like I was. I was even afraid just taking the screen apart and taking everything apart. I was scared. So um, like I said, this is at your own risk. Um, if your Nintendo Wii U is in which I think they're discontinued, but if it's still in the one year time frame, you can just have Nintendo fix it. And they're really generous with, you know, like at no extra cost or whatever the case may be. Like I said, at your own risk. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you later.